Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over how to create a summary report. So summary reports and I guess just reports in general. So there's a lot of different confusing things. Let's go over a little bit about what the different report types and report formats are and then we'll jump into the report. So feel free to skip forward. You can use your finder within YouTube to see where the actual report begins. So I want to delineate between report types and report formats. So report types are going to be the objects that you're going to be using. So like things like opportunities, leads, tasks, accounts, whatever you have and whatever you're trying to show. That's going to be a report type. You can have multiple objects. You could have one object, uh, whatnot. And that's going to be before you create the report or in the report creation process. So now let's say you have selected your report type. Now you're like making a name and you are finding a folder or whatnot, and you are actually in the weeds of um, manipulating the data to uh, create that report in the ways that you want to answer questions. So like, hey, how much did we make this month? That's a great question. And that's when you're going to be creating the report formats. You'll be formatting the report. There are four types of report formats and they kind of build off of one another. So the first one you're going to have is a tabular report. It's just going to be the table is just going to be the records, a list of records, literally all a table is. Then the one that we're creating today is going to be a summary report. So you're going to take that table and you're going to summarize something. So like you're going to, like that previous example, you're going to say, this is how much we made this month. You're just summarizing the total of it. Then you're going to have a matrix report where you're creating a grouping of something. So to add on to that question of, hey, how much do we make this month? We could say, hey, how much do we make this month based upon the type of customer? So like, I don't know what the types of customers there are um, in this org specifically, but you could say, hey, I worked in a company where you had types like tech company and another type of company that we sold to was like education. So you could have, hey, in tech, we sold 1 million this month, but in education, we only sold 500,000. You could group that in the report and like do a halfway summary, but that would be matrix report. And then finally, you'd have a joined report where you're going to have multiple report types. So you could have opportunities literally next to accounts in one report. So you could see a bunch of different stuff. I don't find in practice a lot of opportunities to use joined reports. But now let's go ahead. And after we've explained all of that, let's go ahead and jump into reports here. I do see actually reports up here in the navigation bar, but I'm going to jump into reports. I'm going to click new report. Let me make this a little bit bigger so then you guys can see all right so here is the report type we just talked about this this is we haven't even created the report we're in the report creation process i am going to go into opportunities and we're going to use that same example of we will be creating how much do we make let's go ahead and start reports here all right there are some things we do not need to know um let's remove the role. I don't need to know that. Oh, and I like to update preview automatically so then you can see what you're actually doing. This is not going to show everything. It'll show everything once you save and run, unless you have a ridiculous amount of records in which you'll need to use a different tool. I don't think I've run into that too much unless I've been working with enterprise clients. So let's go ahead and I don't necessarily need to know the opportunity owner for my purpose, I just want to know how much we're making. Now we could put this into the stage of everything. Let's say anything that we've won. So I'm going to filter this down a little bit. So anything that's closed one, go ahead and apply that. All right, that's a lot of records that we just filtered out. Um, it's going to show current fiscal quarter of close date, which is great. So like in this current fiscal quarter, what are we closing? So let's see, it's closed one. Um, and these are a bunch of test records. So if something looks a little bit funky, like I can say, hey, this fiscal period looks a little funky because it is funky. But let's just go ahead and run with it. Um, you'll want to mess around with these filters until you feel like you have come to the right conclusion. Here is a tabular report. It's just showing a table of close one opportunities. So now to create that summary report, it's going to be super easy. We're just going to come over here to amount, which is the one we want to summarize. And then we'll go down to summarize. And now you have a bunch of different things that you can do. You could average it out. You can max, min, median. It's like if we want to know, hey, what's the average amount of our deals right now? There you go. But we want to summarize, hey, how much have we won? Let's go ahead and summarize. 
All right. Now it's actually going to show us both, which I think is a newer feature. I haven't seen that yet, but there we go. That is a summary report. Now, if we wanted to add all of those numbers, I'm sure that we could do the average and then it will show all of that, which can be pretty helpful, actually. So now that we've created this, let's go ahead and just say summary report. And I'm going to say save and run. Um, private reports can be pretty tricky. You're going to be the only one that will be able to see this unless you have someone looking over your shoulder. So if you want other people to see this, then save it in a public folder. But for the purposes of this tutorial, you don't need to know that. I'm going to click save here. It is saved. Now, one thing about summary reports is that it's pretty difficult to visualize. Like you really can't visualize. It's not even giving us the option. So if you're wanting to visualize your data in a different way and, and not just having like the total amount here, um, you'll need to add in some type of grouping to show that piece. Um, and I'm not talking about filters here. So one of my favorite ones is to do, so I'm going to open this up, the filter up to show all of our ones, all of our opportunities right now, regardless of stage, but you could group it by stage here. So then you'll be able to see the summary over here, but this is a matrix report. So, I mean, it's getting pretty easy to show. Let's go ahead and click save and then save and run, or you just do save, save, run. So now you can see all these numbers by stage. And then you'll be able to add the chart and show uh, different pieces of information here. So I like the donut chart or the funnel chart for this one of how much we have in different stages. But again, this is a matrix report. If it did not have that grouping, we would not be able to visualize it, but then that would be called a summary report. But I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter. You can check out my courses down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.